Hi guys, me again Aswat and today I'm going to do a review for the movie Ip Man 4 uh, The Final Chapter or something like that It's the last movie and if you have been following the franchise uh, it's about uh, the story of this teacher Kung Fu Master who is the teacher of Bruce Lee and his name is Ip Man and he's been played by Donnie Yen for the last four movies and to be honest with you uh, I used to like this movie franchise a lot it's entertaining um, but you know after watching part, part four I'm not saying it's bad but it's actually just a rehash of all the movie that comes before it it becomes so predictable because it's just re re they rewrite um, part 2 and added some 3 and 4 uh, added, added some 3 and same theme I, I can just reveal to you um, what it's about let's, let's start with the plot the plot is um, Bruce Lee invited uh, Ip Man his teacher to come to San Francisco to see him demonstrating um, Kung Fu and I think that's a real event and then um, so Iman decided to go and see visit his uh, student and also to find a place for his son he only have one child and he wants to put the kid uh, to study in America and the movie is at first I wanted to see how I wanted to see how they ride it because I, I have this gut feeling that it's going to be the same thing so like previous movies um, I will give my reasonings and whatnot first of all the good thing I want to talk about the good thing Bruce Lee is fantastic this is the guy who plays Bruce Lee in this movie he's fantastic and there's even a scene that have his the Bruce Lee character fight thugs and how they shot it, how he fight, how his facial expression is. It was so amazing that you know you you, you will immediately get the feeling that hey man they should they should really shoot a Bruce Lee movie, you know. Even even if you know you know Bruce Lee is gone but they should do it, you know, do it. This is no CGI. The guy really looks like Bruce Lee, so that has had impact on on me and anybody who have, who is a fan of kung fu and especially a fan of Bruce Lee. That alone is fun to watch. But unfortunately, this is not a movie about Bruce Lee. It's about his teacher. So you got that one fight, that one amazing scene, and that's it. Beautifully shot impactful and you know kick ass okay and that's the only I think that's the only good thing well can I say okay okay let's just say that all the good things about this movie are the fight scene they are very well shot as in all the Ip Man franchise they are all well shot and you can I can't deny about that now and I want to find out about any other good thing I can say about this movie. Um, no. <laughs> now let's go to the bad points about this movie. Okay. Um, I don't know because this is how I think I, it can't be. Donnie Yen is, has, has, has lived in the States. And then I think the... Um, I don't know why but Jackie Chan have been to the States. I mean... The, the, the bad thing about this movie is the views of white people I mean they they try to include in this movie a topic about um, immigration and how how you know white and white supremacy but and this is, has been going on in Ip Man series for a while and you know at first I was tolerating it because they made it like a fun thing but when it becomes so blatantly racist 
I have to say the word is blatantly racist against white people. I mean, I'm not joking around. I mean, they have some uh, points that you know, America, American politics right now is looks like you know. But you know what? My 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 perspective is don't put politics inside this movie when it's it shouldn't be. You know what I mean? In all Ip Man movies. White people is always been the bad guy, uh, the, or the intolerant, racist people. In all of them, they have like in in part two and part three, there's the cop, the white cop of Hong Kong, because Hong Kong, where Ip Man lives, was a British colony, and white people there are bad people. You know, the the cops are bad. Some of the politicians are corrupt. It's really caricature. It's a really real caricature kind of portrayal of white people and white culture and then um, look I'm not I'm not I'm not white and I'm not saying that white people are perfect they have everybody have they have flaws everybody have flaws even the Chinese have flaws Malays have flaws Arabs have flaws Jews have flaws anybody in this world have flaws that's human But when you, the moment you you made that flaws that all of us have into like a, a a caricature, it makes. I don't like that. I don't like when when this movie is blatantly trying to show that white people in America won. There's a scene where she he wanted to send his son to the school, and this this they portrayed the school head mistress as being corrupt. To show that white people are corrupt. I mean, I don't know why. Why, 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 why would you put that way? You know. And then they show, like all the white pe- white characters in this movie, they are show they are sh- they are shown as uh, bad people, uh, racist people. Even the script. I don't know how the actors, the white the white actors can play in this kind of role because they make a mockery. No, it's a blatant. <laughs> the first time I've seen, they try to show like, oh, these white people are all of them are racist. But you know, they 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 are portrayed in the most comical way. Like there's a scene where this girl got bullied in school, and then got bullied by um, this girl that Donnie Yen, that Ip Man, taking a liking to, like a stepfather kind of role figure. And then they show like this girl uh, got angry, and then the mother got overreacted, and then the father got into the picture and trying to this move, <laughs> trying to show that white people are snowflake. That's the message here, man. Not all white people are like snowflakes, man. I mean, seriously, don't do. I I I I I hate it when people are racist in their movies against white people, black people, uh, natives, any color. You when you do that kind of thing, it shows you're a hypocrite because they, they're trying to show that eight man is so be above that, above and uh, he's not racist kind of thing. But the movie is trying to use him, use his character in this movie to show their own kind of agenda that white people are racist which I don't agree with and I'm not white I just hate racism blatantly so okay that's one of the worst thing about about this movie okay how about other things uh, the, the other thing that I don't like about this movie is it's actually a rehash of two now if you have not seen This is your first time watching it, man. You might feel okay, justified. You might enjoy it because as a standalone movie, it's it's fine. But it's actually a rewrite of two and three. And then why I will I will, I will give example like okay, in some way of in the plot of all this it man movie, there will be a scene where it man will encounter other masters from other schools kung fu schools and they will challenge him they will always have that there has there's a famous ip man scene where ip man fought uh, semo hang 
in this movie there's also uh, Donnie Yen characters Ip Man went to this school and then he was challenged he had challenged by all these other schools of Kung Fu in America what the it's the same thing uh, what else it, it, <laughs> like like the Ip Man will fight Samu Hang in the master versus master scene in the previous one Ip Man fought Samu Hang but always in the end Ip Man and the, the masters will unite because we are Chinese and they, 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 they try to say that a lot of time you know what I mean it's like oh the, I mean Chinese always watch each other's back and Chinese unity and whatnot they even I mean man it's really push down your throat but I'm not I'm <laughs> but if you haven't seen the like, I mean like uh, white people are always bad oh and then there's even a scene where America he did he fought it man fought who's that guy was it Mike Tyson was it it's, it's the same movie I'm getting them all of them confused you know but the, the Mike Tyson one it was not in this movie this movie the bad guy is an American Marine and then Okay, in this, and then they show like the American Marine, the American Army is like racist kind of thing against the Chinese. This one Chinese guy was was very loud spoken and was punished. Like, like the, the, the soldiers were trying, taking like heavy handed against the Asians. You know, why, why make, why made it that way, man? Where, you know? And then trying to say that oh we're not racist we're just saying that oh Americans uh, don't don't like Chinese kung fu they make it like an issue whereas the Marines was using karate or whatnot in this movie according to them and a man the soldier was trying to say like no Chinese kung fu is better it's just over that kind of thing okay and then like I said this is a repetition in the end. Always in the end is the sentimental part. Whereas in I think there was once uh, one man the wife I think it's a part three the wife was sick, got cancer. The whole the whole end of it was like very sentimental, very trying to show that uh, the, the the somebody's going to die. Well, and then they have this montage and whatnot. Same in this movie. Iman is sick and then suddenly family is important and whatnot and then they have the montage and whatnot same kind of thing it's so predictable when I was watching it I said I can't believe they are doing the same thing again okay um, yeah but you know because I had to come back I had to think about it I like the fight scenes the fight scenes were very well shot but um, other than that, the racist undertones, white people are bad, you know, I mean, come on, it's not, but they, they show it like such a way in this movie that, you know, and then I know the critics of the, those supporters will argue, yeah, sure, but, you know, America is racist, no, man, America, America is not, it's not all racist, man, they are not, you know, I mean, is you when you when you as a movie maker give out that kind of statement on the screen you make a very serious accusation you know like american that's also the same criticism i would always criticize on fairness right american movies tend to show mexico or mexican as very as uh, poor and dirty and and you know like what trump says so that's wrong not all, not all Mexicans are bad or dirty and whatnot. Mexicans, South America, below America, below the United States, the countries in South America and uh, can be quite beautiful. Can be quite um, what it, what can I say? Um, you know, develop. They are not like when you think about Mexico, you think about, oh, Mexicans are bad. That's how American movies portray them, which I don't agree also. 
Let American movies portray Arabs. Let Arabs are terrorists and whatnot. And here's the fact. Everybody is the same. Anywhere, any race. Everybody who needs to go to work, to eat. The politician wants to be in power, wants to increase the BDD and whatnot. Businessman needs to make money. It's the same. Everywhere we human, we have flaws. Regardless of race. And then I, I, when I see this kind of movie, I, I like to double down on it. You know, like when I see... One of the reasons why I don't like watching Mel Gibson movies also Because of, you know, how he's a racist kind of guy So, I have to be aware, I'm not perfect and I, when I, if I, if I am on up something Please do mention it in the comments So this movie is predictable um, I hate, I hate, I hate the race kind of thing, race, race bait, you know what I mean? Trying to lure people to see this kind of movie because, oh, see how the Chinese are strong, uh, united uh, by standing up against white people. No, I'm not talking about Chinese globally. This is Hong Kong movie, you know, I'm talking about this kind of mindset and then they were saying I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't I don't like that kind of approach anymore I like I have to say I like it my one I, I like it my two and this is just a cash grab when they realize that they can make a lot of money on the Iman thing you see they even have a um, Master Z the Iman legacy or something like that that is just an offshoot but you know, nowadays when with the China, Chinese, uh, China is so adamant trying to uh, expand their influence throughout the world. America, they have American polit American politician and military are uh, realizing that. Uh, you know, you hear they trying to go, go trying to spy everywhere, and that's politics. I'm talking about politics now. So it, it is. It is. I don't know whether this is gonna be released in America or not. Um, but China's um, expansion is very real. Now they are, they are torturing Muslims in China. If you are Chinese, uh, if you are a China Chinese Muslim, you you are not. They will do things to you. They will torture you. So. I try not to try to not to link but with this movie but that's a sad thing that has to come up because you can't you know they say oh it's Hong Kong it's not China it's China controls everything there yeah. so okay back to the movie out of 10 I'll give this movie a, you know a 5 out of 10 um, it's because one it's a repetitious thing, it's repeating the previous movie. I hate the sentimental kind of approach. I, I, I mean, they should have made a full on Bruce Lee movie here. And this is just a, you know, do yourself a favor. Uh, only watch this if it's on Netflix or, you know, things that you can get for free. Uh, not worth it to me. If you want to watch Ip Man, I think part 2 is still the best. I like part 2. And yeah, that's it. That's my review of Ip Man 4. It's a bit long because I want to be detailed about um, this franchise that I used to like. Sorry about that. Peace.